What is up everybody? I am Mumphy. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining. Today, I've got another exciting video. We're adding, once again, more lights to the Tacoma. And with this install, it's gonna be 40 inches of light. Stay tuned. So for this install, I've got the Princey roof rack up there. We're gonna be adding a 40 inch Heretic Studio light bar. Whew, I'm so excited for this one. I'm gonna probably do this install just a little bit different than you've probably seen other people do. And what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take off, I'm gonna uninstall the wind fairing, bring it to the table, install it there, and then replace it. And the cool thing is, because of how modular the Princey roof rack is, all I have to do is just take off four of these bolts and this windscreen will come out. These are a T30 bolt. I don't need uh, any Phillips head to remove the fairing because we're going to go back behind it. Okay, so now that we have the windscreen off, I've got my light mounting hardware from Prinsu. We're going to go ahead and open up our box from Heretic Studio, oh, this 40 inch is just, oh, it's incredible. Super excited to get this going. So as you can see, it's got a combo lens, which is the spot and the floodlight incorporated into the entirety of the light bar. And it comes pre-wired with a wiring harness. You also get your hardware for the attached mounts and you get a wiring kit with some instructions. And now we'll figure out how we're gonna mount the light bar to the back of the windscreen on the Princey rack. So I've kind of set up the 40 inch light bar against the windscreen. I'm gonna take the brackets that you can order from Princey for an extra $20. Comes with all your hardware and screws and bolts and nuts that you'll need to mount. Heretic also gives you a couple of mounting options with their light bar. So I'm gonna put this kind of together and then I'll come back and show you how I've decided to rig this all up uh, to get it housed up properly. Okay, so a little bit of change of plans. I actually ended up putting the wind deflector back on the Prinsu rack and took off the first crossbar. Now, here's what I ended up doing. So utilizing the CBI mounts, I ran two bolts in here to hold the housing on, and then connected the Heretic mount to the Prinsu mount. So with the Heretic mount, you also get uh, one of these cross mounts. So I just removed that, so that way I could attach the bolts like this onto the Prinsu mount. None of this is tied down, so I can, I can adjust how I need to. So for now, so I'm gonna keep these loose so I can adjust side to side and center it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this crossbar back on the rack and then start tightening everything down once it's in place. So I went ahead and made the adjustments to the rack and the mounts. I actually put the, I used the second hull. I'll bring you in closer to kind of show you what I ended up doing just so I could get the lights above the wind deflector. We're also below the rack height, so I can come over the top if I need be, if I have like a long case. So I'm gonna go ahead and button everything up and then I'm gonna show you guys what I, what I did. All right, now just to kind of show you guys how I have it hooked up. Go up on top here. I did put a blanket down so I wouldn't scratch up the hood. I have it in, there's two holes in the Prinsu light bar rack. There's a lower one, which I had it in initially, and then a taller one. So I had the I had it in the lower one. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need that one, so I actually had to mount it into the second one. I put this uh, piece of blue tape here on uh, both sides. I, I ended up taking that one off already, but that kind of helps me center in where I need the bracket to go. So that way it's centered within the windscreen. So now I can just kind of, I can take this off, not have any marring, and now we're ready to do lighting and get this thing hooked up into the Switch Pro. Test this thing out. I'm excited. What do you guys think so far? <laughs> yeah, 
Let's get going. As with all Heretic Studio lights, they do come with a wiring harness. Now, the wiring harness that I have here comes with a relay, an inline fuse, but the connection that we need. If you are planning on running this with a aftermarket switch or the switch that actually comes in the kit, then you'll, you'll utilize the relay. But because, once again, I have the Switch Pro in the engine bay, we are not going to be using the majority of this. I'm going to find the end that has the connection for the 40 inch light bar from Heretic. Just going to snip this off and then we're going to run it down through the window into the engine bay and hook it up to one of the Switch Pro connections that can handle up to 35 amps. All right, just so I'm making sure that I'm cutting the right wire, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it uh, as long as we need. There we go. And the rest of this, I don't need. So, now let's get this hooked up. And we'll run all the wire that we need. All right, so as I've previously done with my ditch lights, I just ran most of the wire up underneath the plastics under here and then came up underneath and hooked it into the switch pro i'm going to go ahead and disconnect the breaker from the switch pro so now there's no power going here and now i can work on attaching everything so i'll go ahead and remove my negative bus bar cover we will be tying into one of the larger voltage or amperage sections of the switch pro so we'll be utilizing either five through eight one of those numbers i haven't decided just yet but we'll get the wire run down and through and then we'll hook it up. Okay, now that I've ran the wire, one of the important things to do is to kind of figure out where you want to secure the plug for the power. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up zip tying the plug end. We have to plug this wiring port up on the light bar. So I gotta just figure out where I'm gonna secure that. Okay, just to kind of show you how I've secured things. Uh, you can see if I come in here like this. <laughs> All right, so here's the connection that I made from our wiring harness that we got to the connection to the actual light. And what I ended up doing was I ended up just zip tying through a couple of the holes on the mount to secure the wire so this just, you know, I may, I may have a little bit of a rattle. I may put a little bit of uh, cover over this so I don't, so I don't hear that rattling if I'm driving around. I may just secure it just a little bit better. Maybe run a couple of zip ties and tie it down like this so I don't hear the rattle. But I've got it kind of coming under Prince rack, running down the weather stripping up underneath plastics next to the ditch light. And then our main wire is coming up underneath. Now we're ready to select one of the slots on the Switch Pro, put our heat shrink and our connection on, and then we're good to test. All right, just to kind of show you what I've done, heat shrink the positive and ground wires hooked it up to our number five. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the breaker back on so we have power running to the Switch Pro. You could have seen those lights on as I switched the breaker over, so now we have power running to this. I, g I gotta say, I love the setup from Derek over at SD Off-Road MT. Went ahead and hooked those up. I've kind of cleaned up the wires. I've zip tied a couple of things. We are ready to test the light bar. Let's go do that. You guys are the first ones checking it out, so how's it look? Man, they are bright, aren't they? I'm stoked to see what they could do at night, and then I can kind of position them where I need them to be, because uh, they might they might be a little bit too high. I definitely want to make sure that the spread is good, and I'm getting light where I need it to be. So I'll definitely be adjusting these, and then tightening them up. I'll bring you some night shots. Thanks again so much for joining me on this install of the 40 inch light bar from Heretic Studio. If you guys are interested, I have put together a kit list in the description box below that has a, that's basically a collection of everything that I've done to the truck so far. And I'm constantly adding and keeping that up to date. So 
If you guys are interested, check out that kit list in the description box below. Some of them are affiliate links, so if you guys order something from there, I get a little kickback. It's no extra cost to you guys, but the rest of the links are not, most of them are non-commissioned links. It's just a list of where I've gotten everything. So check that out. Hopefully it helps you guys out. In the meantime, thanks again for joining. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'm, I try to do my best to answer those questions. I can't get to them all, but I do my best to try and answer them as soon as I can. Also, hit that like button. We'll catch you in the next video. Perfect. Peace. Perfect. Perfect.